Well, if it says I'm live, I must be live. This is Monday Rain. I don't know what Monday Rain means, but they just asked me for the title, and this is the title I gave it. Because up until about half an hour ago, I was chucking it down. You can probably still see some of the wet on the floor behind me. Maybe, I don't know. There you go, that's better, isn't it? That's better. Well, the sun's come past the clouds now, so it's shining underneath the clouds. For some reason, I can't get your uh, comments up, but that's not a problem. If it's your first time here, this is Tim Dow for Live With MS in Tenerife. Normally, this is Meetup Monday, uh, where we meet people who we know from online and people who want to see us that are in Tenerife at the moment, but nobody registered today. So Chris says, it's raining. I don't fancy going down there. Uh, if it's raining, I said, no, no, you're right. And I said, I'll go somewhere else. Then it just kept chucking it down. And then eventually it stopped raining, but it was too late to organize anything then. So I'm going to have to go on my phone now to find out if there's anybody watching. Da, 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 da. If there's anybody watching, bear with me, please, because I can't see you connecting to YouTube. There was a problem getting your comments. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not going to be a new thing. So let's go. Oh, it says Monday rain. It's, well, it, it did it. So, oh, there are people on. <laughs> In fact, there's 53 people watching. Thank you so much. Hello, Tim. How's Christine? She's fine. She's just lying in a chair. What happened was, I'll tell you the story in a minute, but everything's fine. Everything's fine. Thumbs up for Tim. Thank you, Pato. Maria, hi. Ray, hi. Anne-Marie, hi. Nick, Gary, Denise, and David. So anybody commenting after David I haven't seen yet? Yeah, so what, what is today? Today is Meetup Monday, and I thought, well, what I'll do, nobody registered, so uh, I'll go somewhere else. And then it just started chucking it down. In fact, I might have a, uh, a thing that I put up. Uh, watch this. It's chucking it down. There. Gonna go in, make myself a cup of tea, put my woolly socks on. That's what I was, that's what I was dreaming for the other day and it came true. My dreams come true. See ya, good <laughs> morning be ya. So that was about an hour ago and uh, it was terrible. I mean, it was still nice, there were kids in the pool so it didn't really matter. Hi Simon. Right, so what am I gonna do? I'm not going to do a lot today because I've still got to cook because uh, we didn't plan for cooking today. So I've got to do ready, steady, cook. So I've got some big bratwurst. And I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I post this daily. Uh, sorry, no, it is on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> um, you do follow me on YouTube then because you're here. But I don't know whether you watch the shorts because the shorts are just like 60 second ones that you usually get on your phone. Or you've got to go and find them by going to the channel. TimothyDow.com. No. YouTube.com slash LWMST. And then on that page at the bottom is a playlist called Shorts. And you can watch that. Anyway, last night we had uh, pork filet, or whatever it's called, pork solomillo. And just in, uh, yeah, salt and pepper. Really high heat on it till it's half cooked and turn it over high heat again and turn the heat down and stick a load of butter and thyme in it garlic and baste it with the butter fantastic but uh before i did that i chucked in a bit of brandy and lit it on fire just to give it a bit of a brandy a smoked taste but what i did with it was something we had when we went to a well, it wasn't really a bar. I suppose it was. It was a, it was a Vietz house, which is basically an old house in Bavaria, where they have a bar, and a dining room, and a kitchen, obviously. And they also got nice uh, rooms that you can rent for the night if you've drank too much. They're quite cheap, and it was designed for artists to go as in a retreat. There's a nice little garden there, and all like the outhouses were were like. Uh, little lofts that you could go and sleep in. And we stayed there one night. Um, it was a 
Dave Bonney's 50th birthday it was. God, so I must have been, I must have been 41. 2001, maybe. We were over on, oh, we must have been over on, I know, I'll tell you what it was. We'd just come back from America. That's what it was. And we were living in Munich, so we went up to Regensburg to meet Dave for his 50th. And we ended up going to Karl Muntz, which is like a little Bavarian village up the uh, up the Danube, and then there's a there's a, a there's a river that comes down called the River Regen, and that's why it's called Regensburg, where we used to live. And up the River Regen, there's a place called Kalmunz, and a uh, big hill with a castle on top of it. And in the village at the bottom, there's this Witzhaus, this this uh, Bavarian beer hall, if you like. Well, it's not a beer hall; it was more of a bespoke sort of like restauranty type thing but you know what I'm saying it's oldie worldy anyway in there they made these things called Bauchsteckler Bauch is your belly and Steckler means it sticks to you well I don't think Steckler is a word actually it's a it's a sort of a Bavarian a Bavarian thing and Steckler a, a stick maybe it could be a stick like Steckler fish a Steckler fish Steckler anyway Bauchsteckler it's called and it's basically just um I've got to say Kaiserschmarrn now. It's like pancake mix without sugar, without the sugar. Um, deep fried in bacon fat. I'm not, you know, it's, it sounds terrible, but it's really, really light and fluffy because there's yeast in it as well, you see. So it's like uh, salt and, and flour. And then you do your yeast in your milk and your little bit of butter in, in warm, like warm milk, yeast, bit of butter and uh, mix them together, let it rise till it's doubled in size, maybe about half an hour, an hour. What I do is I stick it in the oven uh, with just with the light on, and that's like the warmest place in the house. Uh, well, this, it's the same heat all the year round in the oven, you see, especially if you live in a cold area. Then that's, I've always done that, and it rises anyway, and you knock all the air out of it, and then just roll it out flat, and then just cut bits off, you know, like, like you're cutting bits of spaghetti off. <laughs> and then chuck them in this fat and they just blow up the, the like balloons. So they're very, they look like big chips. I don't know if you can go back and watch it, but they're not. They're sort of light. It's like a pillow and you stick it in the sauce and um, I'm getting hungry now. In fact, I've, I've got some of that left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out and then roll um, a bratwurst in it and uh, I'm not going to deep fry it. I'm going to put it, do it in the oven for half an hour with a little bit of egg wash. and see how that works out. It should balloon up like a, be like a corn dog maybe. Anyway, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, loads of stuff, loads of stuff. Still a beautiful backdrop. Yeah, I mean, basically, if I turn you around here, you will see a beautiful sunset. I don't know if you see that. There you go. So it is beautiful. Because, well, we always get nice sunsets if the clouds are on the mountain because the, the sun just comes below the cloud. So that's pretty cool. Vincent, good evening. Mike Unamise, David Butler, Glyn Young. Uh, Amory, David. Ever saying hi to everybody else. Alan Gibby, at least it's warm rain. It is, yeah, it's not sleet. No, no, it's not sleet. Uh, are you sure it's you're not in the UK weather like that? <laughs> exactly. No, it was quite warm actually. I was out in my shorts. I'm out in my shorts. That's what my mum used to say. Sounds like our weather. Working tonight, listening on audio, Mark. Okay, then I shall sing for you. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Probably not. Hola, moderator. Anne Marie Elton. Anne Maria is there. Denise is there. Hi, Denise Pearson. You follow me on Instagram as well. I know that. Evening, David, the scene. Evening, Tim, says the map man. Moira's on. Ian's on. Julie Cooper's on. Ian the doorman. Amber. S Amber Cedar. That view is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. How's the missus? You're looking wonderful. Hope you're both doing fine. We are doing excellent, actually. Christina's lying down. I didn't finish the story. I went to Los Cristianos to pick some stuff up. 
and I left Christina on the loo because I thought it was only going to be half an hour and there was a traffic jam because of all the rain. So I was an hour and a half, so she was on the loo for an hour and a half, so she, I'm not in the good books. Although she didn't blame me, but there you go. So, yeah, I'm not going to stay on long tonight because I don't have a lot for you. Um, I'm not even, I won't even open the room because uh, I opened the room the other day and nobody came in so right at the end then everybody came in, but uh, I've really got to cook today. So all I wanted to say was that Meetup Monday is always on if you register. So if you go to timothydowd.com and uh, on the front page there, you will see Meetup Monday register here. That button takes you to another page and in that other page, all you got to do is put your email address in and how many people are coming. If you've, um, you can make the email address up as well. I mean, if, if you put your, your real email address in, then it does send you a ticket, but you don't need the ticket to get in. Um, it's just to let me know how many are registered. So you could actually put your name at youtube.com uh, if you want. And then I just know it's you coming. And then how many people? Or you could do it each name for everybody or you, your real email address. If you do do your real email address, I'll send you a cookbook that I wrote. <laughs> it's not a cookbook, it's just like what I ate and a few little recipes that I stole. But yeah, so if you go there, timothydow.com and have a look at that register on the uh, on the thing. There's always two people, that's me and Chris, because I always think that if you say nobody's going, then the first person doesn't like to do anything, but there's always two people. So if there's no more than two, that means it's just me and Chris. And so therefore somebody else needs to register before we go down there. For the simple reason is if I go down there on my own and nobody's there, I'll just drink four pints, you know, because Christina's not there to stop me. And once I start, I can't stop. So I'm on the Tim and Tonics today. I've actually, instead of getting the lime juice today, I got the grape juice, which looks quite nice. A bit of a difference, a bit of a difference, probably a bit more sugar in it. You never know. See what you guys are saying. Great to see Tenerife getting back to normal, Tim. It was to relax last week. It was, it was, Neil. Sorry we uh, didn't meet up again, but uh, it was nice to see you on uh, Daniel's channel there. Um, but I understand I live, in about, I live a bit out of the way for somebody who likes in the thick of it. But uh, next time we shall, uh, we shall definitely meet. Ricky is, Ricky's London, I'm your fan. Thank you so much, Ricky. I've not seen Maria on lately. Ian, is she all right? Okay. Hi, Maria. How's the West been here? Sunny all day, says Ian Miller. Okay, Ian Miller's on. And Marie. I don't miss anybody there. There we go. Yes, I don't even have anything to show you at all. And I didn't download any extra videos. I haven't been filming. I mean, I've been taking my camera out every day, but it's either been windy or it's I just didn't have time. I was going to do a drive around, then the car was dirty, then I washed the car, then I didn't have time. So I'm just I'm just moaning now, so don't even worry about me. But I'm really happy at the moment because we've we've got to the stage now where I am starting to lose a bit of weight. I measured myself this uh, well, I measured myself yesterday actually, and I was 115.5 with clothes on, so I'm probably 114 now. So that means in 42 days I've got rid of 14 or 15, 15, I got rid of over three kilos. So 2.2 pounds, that's six, six and a half, six and a half, seven pounds I've lost in uh, 42 days, which I think is a good gradual reduction. It's not, and I, and I haven't really done anything to say that I was on a diet because I'm just eating the same type of stuff, just less, that's all. And to tell you the truth, I couldn't, when you look at it, it looks a lot because I cut one bun in four like that so i've got four little buns but they're only the size of let's say a french bread cut cut through like a ring of french bread so i have four of those for breakfast and i used to have eight or two buns if you like and uh, then for dinner i'd eat like i'd make for four and then have three portions and now i'm not doing that i've even bought a a smaller pan to do a vegetarian moussaka this week for christina and i and she's ordered a German, uh, a German sausage she wants to do. She wants to do a Leona Wurst, a lion Wurst. Um, it's actually, well, a Leona Wurst is actually the French sausage, but it's a German thing. It's like a big fat, 
uh, frankfurt i would say and the way you do it is you cut it into rings and brown it in a pan with a little bit of butter maybe and then you have it with mashed potatoes mm, and a bit of mustard that sounds nice always talking about food i know always talking about food so what are you guys saying You'll be trying your ladle holes and all. Oh, I'm a bit. I'm a long way away from ladle holes, and I tell you, you know when I started the ladle holes and challenge, I was actually only 105 kilos, and I couldn't fit into them. And I went up 10 kilos on top of that since the ladle holes and challenge started. So uh, it's not really well done. It's like uh, fat yet, you know. You <laughs> about bloody time. You look at. You know, I feel healthy actually. That's the good thing. I feel lighter than I was, but I'm still 10 kilos more than I was. A year and a half ago, no, to, before before lockdown, I think, I was um, I was 105, 106 kilos, and I just went straight up, and uh, I'm not 118 kilos, am I? Am I 118 kilos? I can't be right, can it? Can't be right. 108? No, 118. You're right. I went up. I went up. Amazing. Yeah, basically all I did was don't, just don't drink as much beer and half the amount of food. So it's uh, ain't rocket science really, it's just less calories. And I've been doing the walks as well. So tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to do an hour's walk. So if anybody's on the island and wants to walk with me, uh, let me know. I'm usually around between 8.30 and 9.30, starting the walk at 8.30, 9.30, and then walk for about an hour. And if it doesn't matter where you are, I can usually get to you, unless you're in Puerto de la Cruz or something like that. I probably couldn't get there. But uh, if you're on Los Gigantes, La Arena, Playa de San Juan, um, Alcalá, here of course, um, Playa Paraíso is just next door. And if you're up in Adeje, down Costa Adeje, Las Americas, Los Cristianos, even as far out as Palmar. I've got to say Palmar with a Northern Irish accent, because that's the... I, f I first heard it from a guy that was from Northern Ireland. You want to get a place out in Palmar? And I can't say Palmar without saying it in a Northern Irish accent now. Well, I apologise to all our Northern Irish friends who uh, say, that's not, a, that's not a Northern Irish accent, <laughs> which it probably is. Denise, are you doing any books? Yes, I am. Wayne Warburton, looking good. Keep on it. I will, actually. In fact, I'm going to get... I'm even going to get better because what I've decided to do is... I am now eating, what's the word? Mindfully, I think the word is, that's the new word. So now, whereas I would make something and fry it in butter and have three portions, now I'm sort of going, oh, I'll do it in a dry pan or I'll steam it or something like that. So I'm actually thinking about stuff like that now. So we've been on just 18 minutes and I've really got to go and uh, start cooking. So I'd really like to thank you for joining me today, even though it's not Meetup Monday. And uh, if you are down there waiting for me, I apologise. <laughs> and uh, But as I say, please do, if you want to come and meet us up, um, please register because then Chris will get ready. And if you can do it by Sunday night, that'd be great. But um, I was contacted today by somebody who said they won't know if they're coming until the Sunday night because of certain things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, if you just let me know uh, on Monday, you know, hey, we're coming tonight, that's fine, but I'd prefer to know earlier, obviously. But if you, can, if, if you, if you want to say, oh, we, we can come now, it might just be that Christina's planned not to come, and that would mean I would just come down, because, I'm, you know, we're just up the road, so I can walk down. But getting Christina ready, getting the right clothes on, getting her on the chair and stuff, and bringing her down, feed her and all that stuff, that's a bit different, so there you go. Right, so I'll just see what you're saying before we go. Change your lifestyle, the best way to make lasting changes, says Tina. Exactly, exactly. I uh, will definitely keep the walks up. In fact, I'm, I'm hoping to do more um, with the drive arounds, but we'll see there. Uh, okay, hi, Carl. We'll do a walk with you in a few weeks. Perfect. Somebody just uh, buzzed me here. Okay, there's nobody important. Well, it was somebody important, but it's not important what they said. 
looks lovely. It is lovely. I mean, we always get the rain and then it's gone, bush, it's gone. You know, it's, it's like one of these, uh, what's the word? Microclimates. So unless you've really got the Kalima brown, brown storm, then rain is fleeting here, definitely fleeting. You can actually see it out at sea where the clouds just raining on one bit, you know, and then it comes in, rains on us, and then goes and rains on somebody else. Let me just turn you around so you can see what I see. Beautiful. I don't know whether that's too bright or not. Okay. Oh yeah, balcony banter. Ian, what's the what's the plan for balcony banter? Yeah, balcony banter's on my channel again, and I think it's going to be. Um, I haven't got it in front of me. Um, but Christina's going to do an interview, which we're going to play. So I'll interview her tomorrow, and she wants to talk about the thing we did the other day, you know, where we went up to Adeki to see if we could organize a, an association or just get more information from the council, actually. But uh, she's going to talk about that and a few other things. And uh, I'm going to see that YouTube cannot. OK, anyway, so uh, we'll see you on the next one. Google thinks you might like where are we this one next? Am I doing the right thing? Probably not. This one. No, it's this one. Google thinks you might like this one next. If you want to sponsor the channel anonymously, you can go right here. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for free right here. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.